Let's draw the Lewis structure of sodium sulfide, Na2S. Now, sodium comes from the left side of the periodic table. That means it's a metal. I know hydrogen is an exception to that rule, but sodium is definitely an alkali metal. And sulfur is a non-metal. It comes from the right-hand side of the staircase on your periodic table. When metals and non-metals get together, they form ionic compounds. The metals give away their electrons, and the non-metals take those electrons. Let's see that in detail. Na in group 1 brings one valence electron with it. Sulfur in group 16 brings six valence electrons with itself. Two, three, four, five, six. And non-metals want a full outer shell of electrons. That is called the octet rule, and it means they want eight total. Now, this sulfur only has six, so it's almost there, but it needs two extra. This sodium will donate one to the cause, but sulfur still only has seven. We're going to need another sodium atom to donate its valence electron. Now, sulfur has eight total. Let's draw that. Here's your sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. That is two more than it brought with it. That means it has a charge of minus two. Great. The sodiums brought one electron with it, but now have none. So don't put any dots with it now, but give it a plus one charge because it gave that electron away. Now you need to show the other sodium because after all you needed two of them to satisfy the octet rule for sulfur and that two sodiums per one sulfur is what give us a formula of Na2S. See two sodiums for every one sulfur? It's all here. Now you might be allowed to take a shortcut in this diagram and write two times Na. That's just so you don't have to write it out twice. You'll still have to write out the sulfur with its eight electrons and minus two charge. Find out which one your teacher prefers and do it that way. That's my recommendation. It's all here. Ain't no fictions. Best of luck.